what is going on everybody my name is pete but you probably already knew that but in case you didn't you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive and of course pay to drive vlogs day number 1362 coming at you hope you're all doing real well out there everybody that's correct amundo um so hit that red subscribe button if you haven't yet down below turn on all notifications so you're always notified when i post something new remember that subscribe button's free all right and of course hit that like button it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job and let's jump into the email thornton mellon triple lindy style all right so listen to this one it comes from less all right give me the pills less uh, nobody knows that movie. All right. So, Les says, Hey, Pete, I just wanted to warn you and everyone else that there may be a new scam out there to watch out for. So I picked up an order tonight for Uber Eats, got to the restaurant, and right before I enter, I get a text from the customer saying, Cancel. Okay. <clears throat> That's all they said. So I reached out to make sure they wanted me to cancel the order. They said, yeah, they said, yes. <coughs> Sorry, these allergies are killing me. They said, yes, the app is messed up and uh, said you were at my house, but now it's saying you're five minutes away. I told her I just got to the restaurant and would be able to have her order to her quick because her drop off was down the street. She said, no. I just want you to cancel the order, but I still want to tip you. Can you send me your Venmo? That's weird. Um, I apologized for the app issues and told her I was on the line with support. She just kept asking me for my Venmo, which I honestly didn't have time to even look up what the name was on my Venmo because support canceled the order pretty quickly. I got the $3 for showing up, but once it was canceled, I could no longer chat with the customer. So she didn't get my Venmo. Right after, my antennas went up. Why was she so insistent on getting my Venmo? And why did she want me to cancel the moment I got to the restaurant? Even when I told her it would, I would be over soon. It doesn't add up to me. I'm not saying it's 100% a scam, but it does seem kind of off, don't you think? So maybe just let everyone know to keep their radars up and always chat with support when a customer wants to cancel. Thanks for all the content, Les. Yeah, that's a weird one, Les. I got to tell you, um, the, the pushing for the Venmo is really, really, really weird, man. Because I'm not super techie with, with the apps and stuff like that when it comes to like the Venmo apps or like Cash App or anything. But I'm wondering if this was someone just trying to be really nice. They're like, oh, no, never mind. I didn't want to do the order, but I want to tip you anyway. Nowadays, in 2021, someone being that generous for someone they've never even met, like this driver less, something's very, very, very fishy here, and I don't know what to make of it. Um, it definitely sounds like a potential scam, okay? Again, he's saying it's not 100%, and I'm saying the same thing. It's probably not 100% a scam, but something doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right at all. And I don't know what the advantage of this was. So anybody in the, uh, the chat or the comments down below, feel free uh, to jump in and, and maybe try and theorize what this, what kind of tree this customer was barking up, okay? Because, you know, just, and then they just send the, the text saying cancel, you know? Why didn't they just go and call Uber themselves to have the order canceled? Something's not right. And I'm telling you, man, back in 2017, 2018, <clears throat> these things were unheard of where customers were trying to, you know, F over their driver, you know, for their gain. It just didn't happen. But now that these apps are so well known, especially after the pandemic, People are doing anything they can to get an advantage on over people. And it's absolutely disgusting, man. And I don't know what to make of it. I'll be real with you. I don't know what to make of this one, but it definitely sounds scam-like uh, for sure. So drivers, let me know down below what your thoughts are on this one. Uh, please be careful out there. 
uh, especially you know when you're dealing with customers that are very strange. I honestly, if it was me, I would follow up with Uber again and just to make sure that nothing fishy is going on. But don't just give out your Venmo to people uh, or Cash App or anything like that or a PayPal because you don't know who you're dealing with. Uh, so thank you, Les, for that. And uh, if you guys ever want to send me anything, send me an email at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. Uh, best place to reach me. Or if you want a faster response, you can message me through the Patreon app uh, or go to patreon.com slash paid to drive. Sign up on that today. Send me a message. And uh, anyone who signs up on Patreon, as you guys should know at this point, I shout everybody out at the ends of my videos. Uh, so when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian... Uh, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Honor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you, of course. Uh, so yeah, sign up down below for Patreon. Links in the description or in the pinned top comment. Also in the bottom of the description is the link for the free gas app called Get Upside. Seriously, make sure you download it today and you're using it. Um, links down below. How it works is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it. All right. And uh, of course, if you want to get one of these awesome shirts, Live to Drive, Drive to Live, this happens to be one of my favorites, uh, go to paytodrivestore.com. Everything's on sale. We have lots of different shirt designs, get you t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, lots of different uh, sizes, colors, you name it, we got it. All right, paytodrivestore.com. <clears throat> if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Comment END157, END157. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and tap the notification bell. Set it to all so you're always up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs. That's it, everybody. Drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.